Hello, this question was asked in GATE 2015 exam. Set 1. Let's read out the statement. Consider a non-pipelined processor with a clock rate of 2.5 GHz and average cycles per instruction of 4. The same processor is upgraded to a pipelined processor with 5 stages, but due to internal pipeline delay, the clock speed is reduced to 2 GHz. Assume that there are no stalls in the pipeline, the speed up achieved in this pipeline processor is. Okay. So, you are given that a processor runs at 2.5 GHz and each instruction takes 4 clocks on average. The same processor is then upgraded to a pipelined version, but the frequency is reduced to 2 GHz. You need to find out the speed up. Now, formula for speed up is time taken by non pipelined version divided by time taken by pipelined version. Okay. So here each instruction takes four clock cycles. How much time will each instruction take? For that, we need to find out how much time each clock takes. Then we'll multiply that time by 4 to find out the time taken by each instruction. So the frequency here is 2.5 gigahertz. 2.5 gigahertz. Hertz means times per second. So you can say that 2.5 giga clocks are generated every second. Yeah. Now you can take this 2.5 giga that side. Giga is 10 raised to the power 9. That means one clock is generated after 1 upon 2.5 into 10 raised to the power 9 seconds. Which means one clock takes 1 upon 2.5 nanoseconds. Okay. So in this case, one clock requires 2.5 nano, uh, 1 by 2.5 nanoseconds. And on average, every instruction requires four clocks. How much time will every instruction take on this processor, on the non-pipelined version? That will be four multiplied by 1 upon 2.5 nanoseconds. Okay. Four multiplied by 1 upon 2.5 nanoseconds. Similarly, here the average CPI can be assumed to be 1 because they are saying assume no stalls are there in the pipeline. So you can easily say average CPI is 1. And frequency is given as 2 gigahertz. So average CPI in this case is 1. That means every instruction requires one clock. Now we'll just find out how much time does one clock take on this pipeline version. So similarly, you can solve that and it will be one upon two nanoseconds. So every uh, half nanosecond, we generate a clock for the pipeline version. So this is time taken by non pipeline processor to execute one instruction. This this one is time taken by pipeline processor to execute one instruction. This you divide them both and you will get your answer. So this is 40 upon 25 into 2, which is 80 upon 25. So your answer is 3.2, okay.